All right, got the new XR Elite from GoTrax. Earlier this year, it was back in February, I got the uh, XR, just the regular XR. Back then, it was the regular XR and the um, and the uh, um, XR Plus, is it XR Plus? I think that's what they call it. So anyways, so I really like the XR. Um, so this one is new, just, just came out, XR Elite. Has more mileage, more range, and also has a more powerful motor as well. The, the XR Plus is the one with the 300 watt motor, so this one's a 300 watt. The regular XR is only a 250 watt motor. Um, yeah, so got this one. Let's see. Yeah. Starter guide. That's for the charger. Red, not charge. Green, charge. So use, user's manual. Um, so this right here is the uh, power plug. Let me open that up. Power plug. So this one's a little bit more output than the previous one, than the XR. So this one output is 42 volts, 2 amps. The XR was uh, 42 volts, 1.5 amps. But this is a bigger battery, right? So the, the, the regular XR is a, uh, uh, what was it? I think it was like a 5, 5 watt hour. Excuse me, amp hour, 5 amp hour. Somewhere around there, 5, 5 point something amp hours. Uh, this one is, I think, seven point something, so it's a little bit stronger. Um, that's where it gets its range from, having more, you know, more amps basically, more capacity. Oops. Here's the uh, handlebar. A little assembly instructions right there. Some instructions. Oh, this, this is the O ring right here. This one has the O ring for the uh, to keep this thing water uh, resistant. It's not waterproof, it's water resistant. I believe the water resistance is up to uh, it has whatever, you know, whatever, I forget whatever the, the standard is, but uh, if I remember right, it's something like uh, it's something like. Uh, no, again, it's not waterproof. It's uh, it's basically a, sp a splash. It's for a splash. So basically, if you were to ride over a puddle or something like that, it it's, it will still be okay. So there's the um, mechanism. This one's a little bit different. So the XR, regular XR. I'm not sure about the XR Plus or Pro, or whatever they call it. Uh, yeah, I think it was XR Plus. Uh, Anyways, the, the the one above the regular XR. Uh, I'm not sure about that, but the the regular XR it has it has the two speeds or two power settings, one and two. One only lets you go up to like nine miles an hour or so, eight something nine miles an hour, and and two lets you go up to fifteen miles an hour. And this one doesn't have that, I don't think. Uh, I didn't see anything about it. Let's see. comes with a little hose here and you need this hose to pump it up the front tire because you can't one way to get the uh, any type of air chuck into the front tire you need this thing right here it's, it's small enough for you stick it in there it's kind of a pain in the ass and the, and the four millimeter allen allen key Here. 
And this one works just like the uh, works just like the. Uh, So it was just like the uh, the XR with this uh, mechanism here. That's it. Locks. If you unlock it, switch to, um, if you unlock it, you basically just pull this little pin here, and it has a it's a little uh, slot right there. So that way you can pull the pin and put it into that slot, and it, it holds this this pin open. And you see that. Once you go past that, it actually self-locks again. So when you bring it back up, it's locked. So, and that. Uh, so obviously the difference in battery power and the other difference. The speed is the same. The speed is still 15 miles an hour. But battery power is a little bit more power. Um, and this one, the other difference is that this one, the battery is actually in the, in the board here. And this board is actually a little bigger. Yeah, definitely bigger. Yeah, it's bigger. Bigger than the previous one. Um, that's about it. So, let's see. You guys can see the top here. It's kind of hard to see the top and turn this thing up a little bit. Alright, so there's two and the keys here. You need to loosen those up. You know, use the uh, Allen key that they give you. Uh, once you have that, you can take this cap off. Actually, just bring the camera in closer. Right here. All right, so now you take the two bolts off right there. You can take this cap off. And basically, you discard this. You don't need this anymore. Um, from there, you got three cables. Uh, see, I believe... Well, so I'm not sure, but I believe these two are the power cables. Uh, this is probably some type of controller. And this is a power cable to, you know, when you plug in the battery. These two, I believe. I don't know until I, you put a voltmeter here, but that's what my guess is. And these these three right here is to control the... Uh, probably to control the, um, you know, the motor going going forward. And this right here, there's two little, tiny little plugs in there. I believe this is for the switch on the brakes. Uh, when you, you know, when you, when you hit the mechanical brakes, uh, there's a little switch on there. I, I think that's what this is for. So that's that. Let's go back to this thing right here. So this is the bottom of it, of the, the head right there. So you got those three, three things. So then you just plug them in. Plug and play, basically. Let's go back to uh, this view here. Bring this back up. Okay. So, so all these things are a groove. The plugs are all groove, so you can't, you know, you can't, uh, you can't accidentally. Uh, Put it in the wrong orientation. So they have they have the various screws, so it's, it's you know if you try to put it in the wrong way, it's, it won't work. Oops, geez, it's kind of hard to do this with one hand there. Mm -hmm. so I heard that. I heard the pop electrical connection. So that's definitely the batteries. Those two. Okay, so you just kind of stuff them back in there. It just kind of pushes back everything back down. 
so uh, you put this little hook in the two allen heads back on here make sure you get the, the two holes lined up and the hook you know hook it up right so these bolts actually already have a uh, blue loctite on them so you shouldn't need any any loctite See them lined up. Okay. Um, again, this is the XR Elite. Uh, this is the newest, basically the newest one. Actually, they got two new ones. They just came out. XR Elite. And the XR G3, the G3 is the highest model. This one is, uh, this one cost me 300 bucks. It was on sale because it just came out, but the, I, I think the sale's over, but it just, it wait a little bit, you know, because you know, GoTracks, they, they have sales all the time. So uh, you can wait a little bit and, and for maybe it goes back down to 300 bucks, but the regular price is $400. So this is 400 bucks, regular price. My, my, my regular XR was, um, I got on sale as well because because I got it when it, it first came out as well. That was uh, two fifty on sale. I think the regular price on that is three hundred bucks. So this one, the regular price is four hundred dollars. Got it on sale for two hundred. Um, looks good for the brakes. Let's go back. Right this way here. The brakes. Basically, you gotta get this little part right here, and this is basically like a bicycle brake. Gotta in get into that little slot right here. Let's get into slot. You just pull on the uh, cable here, and it'll go through. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Shoot. Oh, oh. gotta do it with two hands there. Okay, like that. Now I just basically just pull this. Oops. Okay, this is kind of tough to do with with uh, one hand. Pull this like so. And I can't do this with one hand. Anyways, you pull this right here. You pull this and it will just it'll be it'll have just enough slack to slip over into where it's supposed to go. You know, this part right here will slip right into the the little slot there. Let me put this back down. And you do this with two hands. Brick cable goes all the way down to the bottom. It's not like it's not like the regular XR where there's a break uh, in the cable and you have bare cable like a, like on a bicycle. This one the the, the, the cable uh, housing here it goes all the way straight to the back, so there's no break. So this is the only way to do it. Up the end of here a little bit, but sorry. Right. So, yeah, I think that's a little bit too tight. If I squeeze the brakes, it's like it engages pretty, pretty soon, pretty quick. I can just bring this back down here. Um, so, 
over here if I squeeze the brake, it's like that and it's really kind of engaged and it's totally locked out well before I even get near the, the handlebar, the grip. So I think the brake is a little bit too tight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something. I'm actually gonna, gonna loosen this right here up a little bit. Uh, this is already slacked as much as you can, so you can't slack anymore. So basically, I have to actually uh, loosen this just just enough, uh, just a little bit, and uh, give the the cable some slack right here. Probably about two millimeters. I'm thinking it should be enough, about two millimeters. Um, actually, let me do that now. Let's see if this thing, this Allen key fits. Oh, good, it fits. So most of the nuts and bolts on here, you know, all the Allen keys and heads and such, are most of them are four millimeters, but some of them they're a little bigger or five. Like the actual brake holding right here is five or six. The two posts, but the rest, I mean, most of this is four. Some of them are smaller. It's like probably a three or something like that over here. So, uh, okay, this is gonna be kind of tough. As soon as I let this off, it's probably gonna slip a little bit. I'm gonna look at my cable right there and see how much I have. Probably a good idea to get some pliers and grab this right here so it doesn't slip. Let me do that. Let me get some pliers. Got my little Leatherman. Little nose here. Let's grab. Grab that real quickly so it doesn't slip out too much. Okay, it's broke it loose. Broke it loose, but it didn't. Uh, it didn't release. Okay, now I can actually see the indentation of when it was tightened. So I'm gonna give it about two millimeters of slack. I think that's enough. And I can actually see that that where again where 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 it was where it was squeezed. You can see the indentation. That's good there. One of the things why I want to have some slack to this is that I want the the regen breaking to to work as much as as possible. I want to I want the regen breaking to activate before the 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 disc brake activates. So I think earlier the way that it was set, it it might have made it so that way the the regen brake might have acti activated. Uh, after the disc brake engaged, so I don't want that. I actually want the regen brake to to uh, engage first, uh, and have full engagement on regen brake before I get get the uh, mechanical to uh, to uh, activate or to engage. Let's go back to the top here. Let's see. So yeah, so that's a little better. So now it doesn't touch until about right there. Well, actually, it's probably about right there. It's a little better now. And here I actually, I should be able to just pull this out now. This part right here. Yeah, see that now it's easy. Still kind of tough, but it's much better than before. Before I had to like really muscle it. Um, so yeah, so that's about it. So I should remove this stickers here. It's a little protective for the, for the screen and turn it on so you guys can see what that looks like. That. It's this side. Oops. Uh, so this is actually a little instructions here. It says one second turns on, five seconds turn off. You just half a second it turns a light. Three seconds it shows a speedometer. I don't think that works. Let's see. Hold down, it's on, one second on. All right, so there's a battery indicator, and there's a speed indicator. If I click it real fast, well, let's look at my hand. You don't see any light on my hand, right? If so, if I click it real fast, you see the little light come up, like a headlight. And now you can see uh, a light on my hand now. And also, it has a, has a tail light too. So when you turn on the light, the tail light turns on as well. So that's cool. Makes you more visible. Uh, so this is, you know, this is supposed to, for commuting, that's why they have the light and the reflectors, side reflectors, up front and in, in the rear, uh, front reflector and the front headlight here. Let's turn the headlight off. Uh, so 
whereas the, the previous XR, or at least the, the regular XR, not the XR uh, Plus or the XR or whatever they call it, um, not the higher model XR, but the, um, but the, just the plain XR, it doesn't have any lights at all. Actually, no, it does have, a, it has a front light, but it doesn't have a rear light and it doesn't have any reflectors. So if you have to, um, you know, if you're commuting or whatever and it's the night time, you know, you could see it because of the light, but but people can't see you. You know, maybe if they're going head on to you, they could see your light, but but they can't see the rest of you, right? Because yeah, there's nothing else. There's no reflectors, nothing else. So that's kind of dangerous. Um, let's see. So one thing I do have to say about this, well, I don't like when I was looking at this thing and just real briefly looking at it. Here, you can see, let's see, pan the camera up. Here you can see the cable here, the brake cable, basically it goes right in the middle of the, the, the headlight. So it's like, what the heck? So it won't be very bright. What they should have done you know, with a cable run is down here. They should have put this insert here on this side, on the uh, on this side. So that way the cable would have went, instead of being kinked over like this, it would have, it would have, hopefully it would have went kind of above, over, over the light, then down. Uh, so let's like pull this now. I don't have no more space. Just thinking of maybe pulling this up so that way it has more slack and it could arch over, but it can't, uh, unfortunately. So that's something downside so far, as far as you know, this thing goes. Um, yeah, so that's the unboxing and that's the uh, assembly of this thing. So let's actually let's see if, I, if I, I'm gonna hold it for three seconds in here. So as you can see that, so it's one second on the left, top left, one second is on, bottom left, five seconds off, uh, half a second light, and this one right here says three seconds for the speedo, I guess. But I don't think it has that. I don't think it has that feature. Let's see. Let's look at it. So that's the light. Right, you can see the light indicator on. All right, on off. So if I hold it for one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand. Oops, five, one thousand. So now it's off, totally off. Um, so you, know, you didn't, you guys didn't see nothing, right? Nothing else popped up. So I'm gonna hold it for a little bit. See if I get. Nope, it's back off again. Um, yep. So there's no, you know, there's no two, two separate power setting like the regular XR does. Oops, I saw something down here. What was that? Let's look at that again. So when the first turn on, everything, everything comes up. Oh, there's a walking. That's like a person walking, an indicator of a person walking. Let's see what else is there. Yeah, that's it. Person of a person walking. I'm not sure what that that means. Um, yeah, I have no idea what that means. Okay, so this thing also has a cruise control where you hold it for ten seconds. It would it would stay on at whatever whatever speed that you had it at or whatever uh, whatever amount you have have this on at. And yeah, you know, I'm doing this and nothing happened because this thing is it has to be moving for it to uh, to to for this to work. You have to go, I think, two miles an hour, I believe, for for you to be able to hit this and and it and it runs accelerates. Um, that's it. I just need to charge this thing, even though it shows fully charged. I don't think it is. I'm gonna fully charge it and uh, and use it for a little bit and let you know, give you a little review after you know uh, some use. All right. Thanks for watching.